Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving my first impressions of 20th Century Boys. I recently read the first volume, the first Perfect Edition volume, so I'm just going to give my immediate impressions on the story. This will be completely spoiler free, just a short video about how I'm feeling about the series so far. So to give them the most basic summary of the story is it is that it's about these childhood friends who, as children, they have this very strong sense of justice. They're very imaginative. They always talk about how they're going to save the world in the future. And the story mostly takes place when they're adults. They're in their late 20s, early 30s, and they're just sort of living normal lives. But they come across a cult who uses a symbol, the symbol that they used for their friend group when they were kids. And it's a very interesting story with lots of mysteries. So right from the start of the series, there are lots of mysteries that are put before us. They show a giant robot and the main character, Kenji, uh, his sister just leaves her child with him and leaves and we have no idea where she is. Uh, there's like a disease that's going around that originated in Africa that makes people bleed to death. And there's also a bunch of people missing. And there's just all these mysteries that are put before us. And as the story goes on, more and more mysteries are shown. And they all sort of are slightly connected somehow. But just from this first volume, we don't really get any of the answers. But it's very interesting. The main villain of the series is the cult leader. The leader of the cult who's using this symbol that they created as kids. And he's just known as Friend. And some of the... And there's so many mysteries surrounding this guy. Uh, he has weird, mysterious abilities, as well as just knowing information about the details of these kids' childhood and this group of friends' childhood. And it really makes the series super interesting because it you, you sort of know the friend group and you sort of are questioning each of the members of this friend group, wondering... Could one of them be this friend guy? And it it really just keeps this story super interesting. I also want to bring up the art. I think the art is very nice. I haven't seen a whole, I haven't read a whole lot of manga to compare it with, but from what I've seen, the art is very good and it's not very, it's not very anime, like I guess you could say, because it's not as, I don't know, the, the basic, you know, big eyes, you know, over-exaggerated art or whatever that most people think when they think of anime art, but it's still very, very good, and it very much impressed me. I think the series does a very good job at keeping the story moving and keep flowing, and it it jumps between the characters as adults and the characters as kids, and I think most series wouldn't be able to do this very well, because it would sort of take you out of the story to show them as kids, and just it doesn't, it might feel jagged, but this series does it very well as it shows us more information about them and really expands these characters and makes everything a lot more intriguing and interesting as it plays out. Also, for a series as dark as this, I'm really impressed with how it mixes in humor. I always, I always like it when a series mixes in humor, no matter how serious it is, just because I think humor makes the characters feel a bit more real, I guess. Uh, also, another thing that makes the characters feel more real is uh, love interests, which this this first volume doesn't expand on the love interest that much, but you can definitely see it there. And I think it's done very tastefully. Overall, I thought this verse, first volume was very, very good. It, was, it just kept kept me interested the entire time and I was never bored while reading it. So I think anyone who wants a good, good mystery series, I think this is definitely something you should check out. It does a great job at just connecting mysteries and connecting little, little details. And I, from this first volume, I can definitely see seeds planted to lead up to something much bigger later on in the series. My final thoughts are just, I think everyone should check out the series so far. It just seems amazing. Uh, I, I mean, obviously some people won't like it, but there's not really much I can critique from this first volume. Um, 
I think one of the main things just being that the characters don't quite feel as fleshed out, but that's something that that builds up as the story goes on. So I it's not really a big problem for me right now. And finally, thank you so much for making this far. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.